In a world where technology keeps getting smarter and more personal, AI glasses are quickly becoming the next big leap. These futuristic wearables are no longer just about displaying notifications or looking stylish. They're evolving into intelligent companions that blend seamlessly into our daily lives. From real-time language translation and health tracking to hands-free navigation and augmented reality overlays, the latest AI glasses of 2026 are redefining what it means to stay connected and informed on the go. In this roundup, we'll explore the top five best AI glasses for 2026, cutting edge devices that combine sleek design, powerful AI features, and everyday practicality to give you a glimpse into the future you can wear. Meta Ray-Ban Display the Meta Ray-Ban display is a bold step forward in wearable tech, combining classic Ray-Ban style with a feature-rich monocular display built into the right lens. Priced at $799 and launching in the US on September the 30th, 2025, the glasses are bundled with the Neural Band, a wristband that reads EMG signals to translate hand gestures into commands. The display has a resolution of 600 by 600 pixels approximately 42 pixels per degree, spans about a 20 degree field of view, refreshes up to 90 hertz, and reaches a peak brightness around 5,000 nits. These features make the visuals crisp and legible even outdoors. The design is notably thick due to the hardware, but users report it remains comfortable for casual use. You get useful tools, live captions, real-time translation, navigation, messaging, video viewing, and a viewfinder for photos, all controlled via voice or gestures with the neural band. Battery life is one of the trade-offs, about six hours of mixed use for the glasses themselves, while the neural band lasts up to 18 hours. At the launch event, there were glitches. A video call demo failed when the display unexpectedly slept, among other hiccups. Overall, the Meta Ray-Ban display delivers much of what smart glasses enthusiasts want. A more integrated display, intuitive controls, and meaningful features. But its battery limits, occasional software quirks, and slightly bulky frame mean it's still imperfect. For those who prioritize novelty and utility over all day endurance, it's very compelling. For heavy use or long outings, less so. Oakley Meta Vanguard the Oakley Meta Vanguard marks Meta's newest push into smart glasses, tailored squarely at athletes and outdoor enthusiasts. Priced at $499 US dollars, it debuts October 21st, 2025, and comes loaded with features intended to survive high-intensity activities. One of its most striking design changes is the centralized action camera, 12 megapixels, 122 degree wide angle, placed above the nose bridge. This moves away from corner-mounted cameras so common in earlier models, improving field of view and avoiding obstruction when wearing helmets. The camera supports a variety of video modes, 3K at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, plus slow motion and hyperlapse with stabilization. To handle audio and user interaction, the Vanguard includes open ear speakers that are approximately six decibels louder than previous Oakley Meta glasses, notably the HSTN, and a five mic array optimized for wind noise suppression. For controls, there's an action button, customizable, and another button, both placed on the bottom of the arms. This makes them more usable when you're wearing a helmet. On battery life, claims are about nine hours of typical mixed usage, about six hours of continuous music playback, and with the included charging case, you get about 36 extra hours. The glasses charge fast, 50% in roughly 20 minutes. The build is rugged. IP67, rated for dust and water resistance, wrap around Oakley P, R, I, Z, M lenses to block sun, wind, dust, and three interchangeable nose pads for comfort and fit. HTC Vive Eagle AI Glasses The HTC Vive Eagle brings together style, AI functionality, and wearable comfort into a compelling package. 
Weighing just under 49 grams, the frame is minimalist yet premium, with Zeiss Sun lenses, adjustable nose pads, and ergonomic temples that aim for all-day wearability. Under the hood, the Eagle runs on the Snapdragon AR1 Gen 1 platform, paired with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of onboard storage. Its built-in 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera can shoot photos at 3024 by 4032 pixels and record video at roughly 1512 by 2016 at 30 frames per second. Voice commands like, Hey Vive, take a photo, lets you capture moments hands-free. One of the standout features is its AI assistant. Vive AI supports both OpenAI's GPT and Google Gemini, which gives more flexibility compared to systems locked to a single voice slash AI ecosystem. It also offers real-time translation of text captured by the camera into audible speech in 13 languages. Added utilities include note-taking, reminders, restaurant suggestions, and recording via voice. On the audio side, the glasses use open-ear stereo speakers enhanced with virtual bass, aiming to deliver a pleasant listening experience while maintaining awareness of surroundings. The mic system includes one directional and three omnidirectional mics. Battery life is adequate, but not revolutionary. About 4.5 hours of continuous music playback, over three hours for calling, with a 36-hour standby time. Fast magnetic charging provides approximately 50% juice in just 10 minutes. Privacy gets special attention. Data is stored locally, not used for training AI models. There's military-grade AES-256 encryption. An LED indicates when the camera is active and capture stops when the glasses are removed or the LED is blocked. Vitura Luma Ultra. The Vitura Luma Ultra positions itself as a serious step up for users who want beyond casual entertainment, targeting enterprise, prosumers, and spatial computing. At a price of around $599 or $600, it offers features that justify the premium for those who need more advanced display, tracking, and interaction. Visually, the Luma Ultra delivers superb clarity. It boasts a Sony Micro OLED panel, a 52-degree field of view, resolution up to 1200p, and a peak perceived brightness of about 1,250 nits, which helps image visibility even in bright environments. The optics use a birdbath semi-transparent mirror system rather than waveguides, which helps with image sharpness, though may impact the glass's bulk or external aesthetic. On the interaction side, what makes the Ultra stand out are its sensors. A triple camera setup, RGB plus dual depth sensors, enabling six DOF tracking and hand gesture recognition. These enable spatial interactions and make it useful not just for virtual screens or movie viewing, but for tasks like virtual walkthroughs, collaboration, or business workflows. There's also built-in diopter slash myopia adjustment dash 4.0D to support users needing vision correction. A few trade-offs, it is not standalone, You'll need to tether to a PC, mobile device, or use additional hardware for full tracking slash computation. Also, features like gesture control or 6DOF may depend on firmware maturity, and there may be comfort or fit concerns depending on your face shape. There's no widely published detailed battery life yet, likely because much depends on how it's connected or whether an external power neckband is involved. In sum, the Vitra Luma Ultra is a compelling choice for power users who want a high brightness display, rich sensor input, and spatial computing capabilities, especially for professional or creative work. Brilliant Labs Halo. The Brilliant Labs Halo smart glasses seek to redefine wearable AI by combining subtle design with powerful on-device intelligence. Priced at 300 US dollars, with shipments expected globally in late November 2025, Halo aims to strike a balance between fashion, utility, and privacy. Weighing just over 40 grams, Halo looks and feels more like a standard pair of eyeglasses than bulky AR wearables. The frame comes only in matte black, but supports prescription or sunglass lens options through a partner, Smart Buy Glasses. The display is a tiny 0.2-inch full-color micro OLED heads-up module 
projected into the wearer's line of sight with a retro arcade-style UI, rather than full immersive overlays. Under the hood, Halo runs on the Aleph Semiconductor B1 chip, Cortex-M55 CPU plus Neural Processing Unit, handling AI and sensor tasks locally to reduce power usage and preserve privacy. Sensors include a low-power optical sensor, dual microphones with audio activity detection, a six-axis IMU, and bone conduction speakers for audio without blocking ears. Battery life is advertised at up to 14 hours for typical use, which is impressive given the compact, lightweight form. On the software side, Halo's standout features include the AI Assistant Noah, which uses a memory system called Narrative to Remember People, Places, or Conversations, aiming to deliver context over time. There's also Vibe Mode, an experimental voice-driven way to create custom mini-apps on the fly without needing to code. Overall, the Brilliant Labs Halo offers a compelling mix of design, AI features, and battery endurance in a relatively affordable package.